Hello everyone, my name is Alex Vizina, and today I will demonstrate how you can use the Smart Editor widget in ArcGIS Web App Builder to augment your data with information from layers in your map. This video is part of the series Get Smart About Editing. Stay tuned as more videos are made available periodically. In my example today, I'll be using the Smart Editor widget to gather information for a list of properties for sale. For example, if I were a property manager or a real estate agent, and I've been given a list of properties to examine or sell, I would first like to learn more about their location and environment. The list currently includes only the address and the selling price for each property. By the way, this is just a fictional list of properties for sale. Well, they may really be for sale, since everything gets sold at some point, but don't use this as official sales information. So for this example, before I can write any promotional content or even speak to interested buyers about these properties, I will gather more information on their location in relation to flood zones, tsunami evacuation zones, and perhaps nearby parks and some other relevant information. So here's an application I've configured for this purpose. So I'll first drag and drop the Excel file onto the Add Data widget. And the properties are automatically geocoded on the map using the provided addresses. Now from here, I could just turn on my layers of interest in the map. For example, I have the nearest emergency water tanks, uh, the tsunami evacuation zones, the flood hazard areas, the liquefaction potential, and so on. But I would make a really crowded map, and it would be difficult to make sense of it. So instead, I'll keep the layers turned off. And I'll use some actions available in the Smart Editor widget to augment my property information with intersecting data from all these layers. So using the widget, I'll select the template I'd like to copy these properties into and select all the points on the map. Now I open the Apply Field Matching pane, and this is where I can match information from my source layer. In this case, the source being the spreadsheet I've just added and match it with the fields for my target layer so that the values are carried over when the features are copied. At the top of the list, I can see that the cost and the address source and target fields were automatically matched since the field names are the same. So this means that the cost and the address values from my spreadsheet will be written directly into the respective fields for each point in my target layer. For the rest, dynamic values have been set against most of my target fields, where values will be extracted automatically based on the intersection parameters I've configured in the widget using the layers that are in the map. So let's go ahead and confirm this field matching and click Create Features. This may take a few moments. Once the features are copied into the target layer, Wellington properties. I now see them on the map with the house icon. I've also added the info summary widget to my application, and I can see a list of the properties. If I click one of these points, new information is provided for each property. So for example, this one here is 102 meters, so about 300 feet above sea level, which means that it's outside of a tsunami evacuation zone although there still seems to be some local flood risks. Being on a hill, there's no risk of liquefaction for this area when there's an earthquake, and there's also a chance that they may have a nice view on the bay. But it's also a zone of very high wind, so make sure you tie down that trampoline and your barbecue cover. It's also near the botanical gardens, a vet, and the Calburn supermarket. The median age for that block is around 43 years old. Now if I compare it with a property at a lower elevation, we're moving into areas with higher risks of flooding, tsunami, and liquefaction. Also, a younger median age as this is closer to downtown, the central area of the city. So all these values were populated when I copied the features into my target layer. But the same information will also be extracted from the layers in the map if I added individual points for new properties assigned to me.
Now let's take a look at how the Smart Editor widget was configured in this application. In the widget configuration pane, I can see all the layers from the web map are listed here, but only one layer can be edited. As you saw in the example, this is a target layer into which I'll copy the property information from the Excel spreadsheet. So I'll make sure editable is enabled for this layer. I won't be editing any of the other layers listed here, but I will be using them to extract property information I need. Then I'll go straight to the Attribute Action tab, and this is where the magic really happens. In the Intersections section, I've created a dozen of attribute actions. So for example, for the Parks one, I've used the Parks and Reserves layer from the web map as the layer I will be extracting the value from. In this case, I'll grab the value from the Parks name field. Then, I've checked the box against the Park field from the Wellington Properties layer. This is my target field, where the extracted value will be copied into every time a new feature is created in that layer. The yellow warning icon here notifies me that these other fields are already being used in other intersection attribute actions, which are all the ones I've set up in the list here. Now you could set up something similar using arcade expressions in the web maps pop-up configuration instead. The main difference here right now is the smart editor will actually write these new values into your data every time you create a feature. So it's possible to export these properties with the new information into a new spreadsheet or a report. Finally, in the configuration, you will need to enable the copy capability, which allowed me to select the point features from the spreadsheet once they were added in the map, and then to copy them into the target layer. So from the general settings tab, in the copy and append features section, make sure to enable the option to allow creating new features from existing features. For our case here, we're only copying point features into a points layer, so we don't need to enable anything else here. So this ends our session on augmenting your data using attribute actions in Smart Editor. Are you enjoying this widget? What do you think of this video series? Please take a few moments to share your feedback with us and help us provide the tools and information you need so that we can help you be successful. Scan the QR code on your screen to fill out this survey. Thank you.